This video is a deep review of the five enhanced features that Robinhood Gold offers to help you determine how it compares to the competition and if subscribing for $5 a month is worth it. The five enhanced Robinhood Gold features are enhanced access to higher interest rates, bigger instant deposits, professional level research provided by Morningstar, level two data access, and access to borrowing on margin at lower interest rates. If you've ever considered purchasing Robinhood Gold, this video is for you. I'll show you what the inside of Robinhood looks like when you have the gold features enabled break down every single one and tell you how it compares in the market, and then help determine if it's really worth the investment. Let's go. Let's start with number one, an elevated interest rate currently at 4.4% on your uninvested cash. So what does this mean? Robinhood has a standard interest rate of 1.5% on all uninvested cash for its normal unpaid users. When you elevate your subscription to Robinhood Gold, your interest rate also gets elevated to a 4.4% rate that your uninvested cash sitting in your account will earn while it's in Robinhood. Included in your cash in Robinhood is any money that you deposit before you use it to buy stocks or cryptocurrency or any dividends you get automatically goes into your cash account. So how does this interest rate compare to all of the options you have to choose from out there? Well, I think this will put it in pretty good perspective. There are essentially three different tiers out there in the market today. And when you see Robinhood's, I think you'll realize how good of an investment it could be. Some say the price of Robinhood gold is even worth it just for this feature. The first, let's call this the low tier of interest rates out there, is really rock bottom. You're essentially earning nothing on your cash and a lot of big banks will try to screw you over and pocket a lot of the money you could be earning in interest rates for themselves and just hope that you don't notice or think about switching ever off their platforms. The second tier is where the Robinhood standard user rate comes in, about 1.5% on your cash. This is good, it's better than a lot of banks. But the 4.4%, this is actually one of the best rates on the market today. I did another video, you can pause this one and watch or watch later, that took a look at all of the best interest rates across the country. And Robinhood's 4.4 actually fits in as one of the highest tiers that the best banks with the best services offer out there. So when people say that this feature is worth the price of Robinhood Gold itself, I actually tend to agree. Let me show you the mathematical breakdown and show you the point where it's mathematically worth it to pay for Robinhood Gold because you'll make more in interest than you would just staying with their standard feature. This chart on your screen is a break-even analysis. It shows the different levels of your cash and how much interest you'd get after fees. As you can see, the important number to know is that anything over $2,069 right now with these interest rates it means it's worth it to pay for Robinhood Gold. So if you're thinking of keeping more than that in your Robinhood account, just buy gold. You'll get all of these features for free. All right, let's move on and drill down into the other features. Robinhood is going to offer bigger instant deposits. So what are bigger instant deposits? Well, instant deposits are what happens when you make a transfer into Robinhood. As a standard user, you're gonna get a matching deposit of up to $1,000 into your account whenever you make a deposit. With the Robinhood Gold feature, you'll be exposed to a tiered system that allows you a whole lot more money instantly available as you're trying to transfer. See, standard deposits usually take anywhere from two to six business days to complete. If you see an opportunity in the market or got your paycheck and wanna deposit that instantly and get it going in the stock market, your limits on instant deposits are gonna come into play. That's where the Robinhood Gold Advantage comes in. As you can see in this chart, as your portfolio balance increases, your Robinhood Instant Deposit Access will also increase as well. I took a look at what other brokerages are doing to see how good Robinhood Gold's feature is. And surprisingly, it stacks up really well. The industry standard is essentially a thousand bucks. It varies from here to there. TD Ameritrade wins the whole thing by granting you access to up to $150,000 instantly in your account. Even the highest levels on Robinhood don't come that close. However, 
If you're getting more than $1,000 with Robinhood Gold, it's placing you into one of the better tiers across all brokerages. For the bigger investors out there who have had more time to stack their money up, this is a really worthwhile feature. Okay, this is a big one. Let's talk about feature number three, professional research from Morningstar. Morningstar is a professional investment analysis company. It's one of the biggest names in the industry. They do research with their team of independent, unbiased investment analysts on all of the biggest stocks out there. All of Morningstar's strategy and investment perspectives usually have a pretty high price tag with them. Morningstar directly will charge you about $35 a month or $250 a year to subscribe to their website. Robinhood is going to give you a portion of this access included in your $5 a month Robinhood Gold feature. How does this actually work? As you can see up on the screen, using a stock like Microsoft, you're gonna get a few key research tools and summary features on every page. This will be the same for all the biggest stocks. Robinhood will pull out some of the most important information. You can read brief summaries about the things that you may care about the most. This is enhanced features compared to just general news articles that you'll find if you're not subscribed to gold. Even one step better though is for every stock that Morningstar covers, you can download their detailed investment research report. The one for Microsoft is 26 pages, so there's a ton of stuff in there. It's truly a next level feature because the normal standard Robinhood really falls short on the research side. Now, how does this compare to other brokers you could potentially go with? I looked through a lot and essentially what it boils down to is your big time brokerages with extensive desktop platforms. It means the ones that you're supposed to use on your computer, Fidelity, E-Trade, Vanguard, they all have even better packages offered you for free that come with just using their system. However, if you do get Robinhood Gold and get the Morningstar access, you're gonna be ahead of all of the online apps that really are a tier down. So Robinhood's well positioned themselves in the middle. They're great for an app-based brokerage, but they still don't compare to what you get for free on the big old time brokers like Vanguard and Fidelity. Okay, let's talk feature four, level two data from NASDAQ. A lot of you may wanna know more about what level two data actually is. Level two data, which is powered by NASDAQ Total View, is really a feature for day traders. Level two market data shows the bid and ask prices for NASDAQ stock market participants. You can use this to see how strong the interest is for buyers and sellers at any moment that the market is open. So what's the big deal? Well, to point you in the right direction, this may not necessarily be for you if you're not considering being a day trader. Day trading is moving in and out of positions really fast, usually buying and selling them within the same day. Level two market data is really interesting and important for day traders because they can see how many people wanna buy and how many people want to sell a stock at any given time. It shows a little bit of pressure, whether it's gonna go up or down at a specific moment. It really allows them to zoom in. Now, how this compares and what this means for Robinhood really doesn't matter. And my reasoning will surprise you. What I'll tell you about Robinhood is it's not an app that's meant or designed well for day trading. If you're considering day trading on Robinhood, I'd probably recommend that you actually use a bigger, more robust app that gives you all of these different features and tools that you can use to track support and resistances. Look at a whole bunch of different indicators that are specifically meant for day traders to be successful in that type of investing. Robinhood is not built for that you won't get very far and you'll just end up being frustrated. Having level two data is nice, but you shouldn't be day trading on Robinhood in the first place. Again, just my recommendation, they threw it in as a Robinhood gold feature, but I don't see it being very relevant for what Robinhood users are really wanting. And let's talk about the fifth Robinhood gold feature, which is the lower margin investing interest rates. So what does this mean? When you borrow on margin, you're borrowing Robinhood's money to place trades and then give it back to them once you eventually sell out of them. Now, they don't just let you borrow their money for free. There's a cost associated with this and this is called the margin interest rate. You have to pay a specific percentage of how much you borrow every single day back to Robinhood for the pleasure of using their money to invest. 
Now, interest rate makes a big deal because it can really cut in your profits when you use margin to buy and sell. With Robinhood Standard, you'll be charged 11.5% right now to use margin. With Robinhood Gold, your first $1,000 of margin is free. Then after that, you're charged 7.5% when you borrow on margin. I have a whole separate video on Robinhood margin if you're interested in learning exactly how that works. See, interest rates for margin, they go up and down just like your savings account's interest rates. But Robinhood, fortunately, is still at the lower end of the total list of what brokerages out there are offering, so it's not a bad deal, especially when you're borrowing margin on Robinhood Gold. So, how do we wrap this up? What's my point of view? Overall, Looking at these features, you have to consider two things, the value you get from Robinhood and the price you have to pay. All in, the value you get is pretty good. None of these features are going to change your life. However, if you are an investor that wants more tools and you do care about actively checking Robinhood as an app to try to make better decisions and better investment strategies, this is an essential feature for you. You need more news and information you want a higher interest rate for the money in your account, and you're gonna love the bigger instant deposits because when the market takes a dip and you wanna get in and buy low, you wanna be able to get your money working for you. The other side is the cost. At just $5 a month, this can really pay for itself quickly, especially if you have a little over $2,000 to invest, you'll make that up in the increased interest rate. If you currently are thinking about using Robinhood Gold, I have an affiliate link down below. You can sign up for Robinhood, get a free stock. Robinhood Gold currently has a one month free trial. I think you'll see that it's worth the investment, but you get the time to cancel for free without any harm done if you don't like it. Again, thanks for watching. If this provided value to you, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks again, friends. We'll see you in the next one.